something on your mind again? Let's work through it together. Two okay. heads are better than one. And now we go to the beach. I've not. Our bond is strong. Every little bit counts. Treasure. Oh, and I don't know if anybody noticed, but um, I made the um, Hitty High, the Penguin High emote, a follower emote. So now everybody can use it in the channel, and subs can use it anywhere. So yay. must actively serve their ball and propel the skill ball forward using the bar. The skill ball will rebound upon colliding with the bar. If the collision occurs while the bar is moving, the rebound vector will also change. Based on the elemental type possessed by the character controlling the bar, the bar will be infused with the corresponding element and apply the same element to the skill ball. Okay, pyro, hydro, cryo, or electro. When they're less than a pre walk a set amount of bricks on the field, the ball will lands and the ball lands another hit, the bar will fire a flurry of fireworks forward. Okay. You're back for a few. No worries. I just grabbed some chips. I needed a snack. Okay, so I need <clears throat> Yippee for snacks. It's like I'm trying not to eat too much. Cause I might not even really need to increase my caloric intake, but if I feel hungry, I make sure that I eat at least a little something. Okay. may change as time passes. What, the not needing to increase my caloric intake? Now, because of my weight, <clears throat> uh, at most, I might need to eat, like, an extra 100 calories a day or something. Like, it's not gonna be a lot. Obviously, I will go based off of what the doctor says when I finally get one, but because I don't have one, I've been doing a lot of research. And because I am... Technically, as overweight as I am, um, like, I may only need to gain, like, 10 pounds by the end. 
So, I'm going based, and especially like I'm, I'm only now just reaching the end of my first trimester, and in the first trimester, you don't need to increase your caloric intake at all. You're actually not supposed to. So. Like I said, I'm by far not in professional or anything, but because I can, don't currently have any coverage here, um, we have to wait for a very specific clinic. Um, we found one where the the appointments are only going to be 25 bucks each, which isn't bad. Um, so, but I have to wait, like, I called them a week or two ago. Just before Christmas, but we haven't heard back yet, probably because of the holidays. The sculpt ball affected by an element hits a basic brick but does not break it. It will transfer the same element it has to the brick. Okay. You're on a private health plan. It's going up to over $600 a month. Well, we're still working on my paperwork. So I literally have no coverage here. Like, not even, like, government coverage or anything. Which, again, we're working on everything, but the holidays have kind of... Well, my situation is a little difficult. We're still working on my my like papers. Um, I originally came to the U.S. as a visitor. After finding out about the pregnancy, we got married when I could, and we're now working on stuff, but obviously I don't have anything yet. But we found some, like, I've been talking to people, obviously, and, like, we found, we have a, a, a plan for how to, like I said, like, there's a clinic we found that's $25 a visit. Um, I'm waiting for some paperwork for some um, program that will cover the delivery if we don't get other things sorted by then. And again, we've, like, we've contacted, like, we've contacted, like, the lawyers and everything. I'm Canadian, but I am currently in the U.S. as a visitor. But we are working on changing that. Again. That's why things are complicated. <laughs> All right, let's try this. Yes. And that's why I don't currently yet have a doctor. So, I mean, we, we've got it all sorted out. It's just that because of the holidays, nobody, everything's on skeleton crews. So we haven't heard back about anything.
Oh no. Ah! Oh, this is hard. Ah! Uh oh. I'm not doing very well. We have numbers and everything. It's just nobody's picking up right now, obviously. Tetra style. It's like, um, like breakout, like block breaker, whatever you want to call it. Did I get anything for that? This one now. How long do this one? You recently signed up for Paramount Plus, so you've been watching a lot of Picard and Halo. Until your eyes bleed. <laughs> to say, I haven't really. I usually. I mean, I've started watching a little bit more now. Because if I'm not sleepy, I still usually go to bed kind of around, like, go into bed for an hour or two around, like, 12 to 1. But usually I just watch TV and I put on just whatever random true crime stuff is on TV when I go to bed because I fall asleep to it. Yes, I fall asleep to, like, murder and shit, but... Okay, so apparently I need, I think a score of like 10,000 on this. Not judging. I like the forensics aspect of it. And then there's, um, there's like some with like actual foot, like body cam footage and like surveillance footage and stuff. I find that stuff really interesting too. And then, like, the stuff with, like, the psychology stuff and stuff like that. This piece of hair that leads to the suspect kind of stuff. Um, and it's actually, like, it's really cool, because, like, there's, um, like, they go into, like, the DNA, and, um, like, sometimes, like, the, the biochemistry and the chemistry, essentially, 
I have seen Forensic Files, like the original series, probably about 30 times minimum. Like the entire thing. I legit put it on my phone overnight so that I have something to like sleep with. Let's try this. Well, I can go up and down a bit too, apparently. Oh shit. Crap, I was hoping that would go the, the other way. There we go. I've always been interested in science. Ever since I was a little kid. Evolution, ecology. date with some stuff but I don't think I got high enough score no I, I need like 10,000 kind of close though There we go. Ah! Oh, I almost lost my ball. Go, go! Oh. Ah! Fail.
Oh no, I just got completely sidetracked. Did that ball. Yes. No, go up, go up more. Damn it. No, shit. No, we're not gonna do it this time either. Put a link in my general discord for later. Yeah, no worries. I need to get more of those, like, bonus point thingies, I think. Oh shit. Oh, that was terrible. See you later! Have a wonderful 2023! You too, Prog! Thank you for stopping by! I'm gonna try and stream more again. Probably more likely to be in the mornings, but I am going to try and fit those evenings, weekends, or well, afternoon streams into. Just going to depend kind of how things are. Shit, I missed it. Awesome. We got hot for that time. I think I'm getting it. I think I'm getting it. I'm gonna check out what Prime sent me. Cool. Yeah, I'll have to check out that article later. Oh, I got so much hot, so much better that time. Okay. Oh shit, I missed that one. Oh shit. 
We need to keep as many balls on the board as possible. I think. I can do it! I can do it! I know I can. There we go. either maybe i need to do other ones to get different upgrades first
Can't use any fire. Try it. Okay. All birds have the same type that are connected to be frozen. Oh. Got it. Oh, and I got new modifiers too. try this again though we've got new modifiers I want to see what we can do what's this no less than 10 bricks on the ball lands another uh, hit the bar will shoot eight and hands fireworks ahead Let's try it. One more time! Dead. Yes, I got them all.
Oh, I missed. I missed. No, 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 no. Okay, maybe I have to do all of the leisure ones and then try those ones. Oh, wait, I did do it! Oh, I need to get 1,500! Dead ten thousand. Okay. Oh, there's a shop. We've got nothing else to do. Why don't I tell you a story? Okay, so now I have to do the second one on this and get 1,500, not 10,000. Okay. It's a little more reasonable. Okay, let's try this. We need disaster. Whoops. Whoa. But yeah, I've already gotten 1,500. Oh my god, I am doing terribly.
1500. Now we'll go up here. <clears throat> hey, you guys finally made it. I was searching for hours, still didn't see any sign of those three, so uh, I decided to come back. How about you? Okay. Find anything? Uh, it's kind of hard to explain. Hmm, I see. So you came up empty-handed, too. Well, it doesn't matter. I already came up with a new plan. Huh? What plan? Shinobu told me a saying after she got back from studying in Liyue. It went something like, uh, the something by day becomes, uh, something by night? Uh, yeah, way to that's go, dude. what I said. Come on, keep up. Anyway, I was so focused on scaring people last round that those three dressed up as ghosts caught me completely off guard. But not this time. Oh, no. I'll be hiding nearby and waiting for those three to emerge oh, first. Really and I'll nail them with right a surprise now. attack. You two just gotta keep playing it natural and join the contest. Got it? Okay, see you later. Wait, Ito! Uh, he ran off again. Well, his plan does make some sense, at least. <sighs> Let's go talk to the Shrine Maiden so we can join the second round. Hey, there's a berm on here. Whoa! Congratulations on winning the first round of the test of courage. Now you're one step closer to the dark, messy truth. But is that really a good thing? Ooh. <laughs> hey, cut the nonsense! Uh... What we just saw was super terrifying! Oh, really? Good to hear. Hearing the word super terrifying is exactly what all us event organizers would like to hear. Uh, no, that's not what Prima means! Something mysterious is also happening here, not just the event! So what? You've heard the stories about the Test of Courage, haven't you? Everyone who participates in the event faces a variety of emotions. I don't think she gets People it. People are afraid of seeing their innermost fears appear before them. And yet they still seek the thrill of experiencing those fears. Lady's so, trying to be spooky, it but it's actually cringe. To also, Paimon being dark, legit scared is also cringe. Silent forest yeah. To help fulfill that experience? Just it's like, like the grinning monster standing behind you right now, waiting so for you fake. to turn around. Ah, really? He's messing with you. <laughs> I knew a little trick like that wouldn't be enough to scare you off. So, congrats on passing this test. The second round of the test of I just got will addicted to shortly. playing bro block breaker. Have though, you found Tooch. your partner yet? Huh? Yes, your team's outstanding efforts certainly won you the last round. So it's understandable that you'd want to pair up with your previous partner. But unfortunately, you must find a different partner for each round of the event. If you don't have a partner by the time the next round begins, then... Yeah, yeah, Paimon already knows! If we don't have a partner in time, then we'll be disqualified. Oh, let's ask around and see if there's anyone looking for a partner. Oh my god, we gotta go say it. Uh, you found me. 
when Kitty needs to choose between hey, Sayu and Yoi. I know. I saw too? that. I saw uh, Yoi Mia over yes. there too. I was oh. like, oh no. Oh. It's like two of my mains. She looks like she just woke up. Oh, nope. Wait, she's actually trying to fall asleep. The test of courage is too scary, so I keep my eyes closed to not feel scared. But as soon as I close my eyes, it's really easy to fall asleep. During the first round, a big bull-headed beast leaped out of nowhere and scared me half to death. So I ran and hid behind a tree. I closed my eyes and tried to hide for a while, but it was really dark and I fell asleep. By the time I woke up, the round was already over. A big bull-headed beast? Oh, wait, that sounds like Ushi. Now, no one wants to partner up with me for the Aww. second round. Oh, poor Sayu. Uh, wait, but why would you join the test of courage in the first place? Oh, because I heard that being frightened causes you to grow taller. What kind of silly idea is that? That's just a load of baloney. I wasn't sure if it was true either, but since I heard it could help people grow taller, I decided to give it a shot. Well, Sayu doesn't have a partner yet. Should we team up with her? Probably yes, but it's we're okay. gonna go talk to you no first. I came here for my own reasons anyway. I'll try to overcome my fear and sleepiness. But if you do want to partner up, just let me know. Traveler, Paimon, I had a feeling you two would be here. Oh, was like, you're yeah, back for Sayu yeah, now. Mm -hmm. I was also here for the first round, but I arrived a little early, so maybe that's why I didn't see you. By the way, I heard you were the winners. Impressive. I eventually found the hidden dongle milk too, but it was already too late. <laughs> Actually... Paimon still doesn't know how we managed to find it. We just followed the fucking Paimon was signs. just hiding behind her the whole time, and somehow we won! It's not like it was that you hard. told me you were so good at this sort of event. You were keeping it a secret, were you? Anyway, would you like to pair up with me? We'd be an amazing team! With us working together, the second round will be a piece of cake. It's like, I want to, but poor Sayu! Oh, I understand. You have to put some thought into choosing the best partner. You did already win the first round, after all. There it is. But I'm definitely no pushover when it comes to the test of courage. I've been to loads of these events. Besides, choosing me means you'll have one less tough competitor to deal with. <laughs> anyway, uh, give it some thought. Let's go. Will you pair up with me for the test of courage? Yes. Really? You're willing to be my partner? Great! But please keep an eye on me and don't let me fall asleep again. It's pretty scary here, but I'm going to face my fears this time. Absolutely. You appear to have found a partner. Let's see if you can repeat your luck from the first round. Though, whether winning should be considered good luck or not is debatable. <laughs> anyway, I will now reveal the item you'll be searching for in the second round of the Test of Courage. It's a fan. A fan? You mean like the thing we use to keep cool when it's hot out? Correct. The fan was personally selected by the Yashiro Commissioner himself, and has been placed somewhere in the Chinju Forest. There will be signs to guide the way, but beware. The darkness that lurks in the forest is drawing nearer. <laughs> Remember, if you can't go on any further, you can always give up and live to see another day. 
We'll never give up. Let's go. All right. She say it doesn't fall asleep. Never give up. Never Something just that. fell from above. I'm out of here. You who aren't. She's gone. We should get out of here too. They're bugs. It's so dark here. To make out anything. It's so dim that Paimon almost looks like a flying lavender melon. Hey! That's not Paimon! It doesn't look anything like me! Paimon's over here! Uh, it's a lavender melon ghost! I'm feeling a little sleepy. I usually like to hide here and take a nap. Don't worry, there doesn't appear to be anything scary here. Ooh, thank goodness. We finally made it to a safe spot. Uh, Sayu? Was that statue always facing this way? Come on, Sayu. And why does Paimon have a feeling that it's staring right at us? What? That can't be Push. right. This is supposed to be a safe place. Push. Oh, we have to hightail it out of here. You who aren't. Let's go! Run! There sure are a lot of lanterns here. Are they supposed to guide us? I heard there are lanterns that release a chilly breeze to guide spirits to be reincarnated. <coughs> Do we keep going? Phew. This place should be safe. Found it. I can't believe I made it this far. Hey, did I get any taller? Uh, sure. Really? <laughs> That's great. Enough about that. Look, isn't this the fan we're looking for? It has fireworks painted on it, so it must be for some kind of festival. So does that mean the second round of the test of courage is over now? Yep, seems like it. Ha <laughs> ha, we've won again! Great. <sighs> because oh, now I was just making starting me sleepy. to feel sleepy. Hmm. Wonder if Ito's still out trying to capture those three from earlier. Paimon's a little worried about him. Uh, <sighs> why don't we have a look around? In that case, I'll take the fan back with me and have a little nap. Just don't stay out here too long. <laughs> I've got you now! Ah! Just run! Don't worry about me! Wow, Ito, you really captured them! Seriously, why didn't you run when I told you? What are you saying? We couldn't abandon you. Yeah, that's right. So just get on with it. And if you're gonna eat us, then you'll have to deal with all three of us. We won't back down, even if... Uh, even if we're already in your stomach. Who said we were going to eat you? Wait, are you the ghost of something tasty? Uh, and Ito, why are you so quiet all of a sudden? Hmm, I have a weird feeling that I've seen these three somewhere before. Oh, I know. These are all creatures from the Ultimate Yokai Field Guide that Granny used to show me. There's Yoko, Kappa, and Hitotsume Kozo. They're all Yokai. It sure took you long enough to notice. Well, we recognized you right away. You're an Oni, aren't you? According to legends, Oni are grouchy, extremely strong, and crush other Yokai into balls to eat them up. Oh, pfft, that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Who came up with that? Besides, you're the ones people are scared of, hiding behind bushes and scaring people off the road. What are you trying to do here? Don't think I didn't see you. 
following her around and conjuring up all sorts of weird, scary stuff? Aha! Uh -huh. So it was you three! No, we weren't trying to scare anyone. We were just trying to... Uh... Um... Uh... Really? You're not... mad? Even though you scared the daylights out of Paimon a few times, it doesn't seem like you were doing it on purpose. Anyway, let's hear your side of the story, and Paimon will decide whether or not to forgive you. Um... Well, the truth is, we were planning a festival. I may take my One hosted this. by the yokai. I'm very the tired. The humans are also welcome to attend. Ah, <clears throat> oh, the festival of the Air Engines! Mikawa Flower Festival. Huh, that does ring a bell. Oh, right, it used to be hosted by the top yokai. I heard it was supposed to be a lot of fun. I mean, not as fun as my almighty Arataki Great and Glorious Drum Along oh Festival, God. but still. <laughs> yes, the Mikawa Flower Festival is our aspiration. But we know that our festival doesn't deserve that name. The times of Yakiyako are long gone. We're just a bunch of little yokai living in the wilderness. As you can see, we lack the necessary yokai powers to put on such a grand festival. But we're determined to still reach out to humans and express our gratitude. Huh? The way gratitude? that one little firefly popped what do you up mean? made it look like the, mm -hmm. the cat one was you blowing see, a bubble. We live in the wilderness and are frequently attacked by monsters. They would come and stir up trouble on our land, forcing us to hand over our food. Sometimes oh. they would even get rough and leave us injured. But later, many human adventurers came into the wilderness and drove off the monsters. Allowing us to live in peace. Ah, I get it now. You want to repay the favor, but, uh, your powers are too puny. Hey, don't let it get to ya. You might be a bunch of pipsqueaks, but you're all solid yokai in my book. So, are you the ones who set up the Akitsu Yugen game on the beach? Yup, that was us. Have you tried it yet? Isn't it fun? We drew inspiration from the legendary Akitsu Hazura. It took a lot of yokai power to set it up. After that, we didn't have much yokai power left, so we set up some stalls in the forest to add to the festival atmosphere. We were just following you oh. to see your reactions. Is the Akitsu oh. Yugen really that important? Why did you spend all of your yokai power to build it? Paimon would have taken the traveler for a big meal if you had set up more food stalls. Really? To be honest, we've never met a human before. So we had no idea what you would like. We focused on building the Akitsu Yugen because of a legend we heard. Ah, I know the one. It's the story of Yokai meeting a human during a festival hundreds of years ago. It's said that long ago, a human Ooh, samurai pressing. once stumbled across the Mikawa Flower Festival. Huh? What's a human doing here? We erected the barrier, didn't we? Ah, uh, what a pain. The yokai at the festival began discussing how to drive away the human. Huh? When suddenly, they heard a voice. Oh. Oh. Ah. This is our festival. And the point is to have fun. What difference does it make if a human joins us yokai? <laughs> The speaker appeared to be a prominent figure among the yokai, and when he spoke, the other yokai fell silent. You there, young man, do you drink sake? Uh, oh, yes, I do. Ha! Uh, then join us! We can enjoy tonight's festivities together! <laughs> and so, the yokai and samurai celebrated together. The two competed in the highlight of the festival, the Akitsu Hazara. Their spectacular game ended in a draw, and a new friendship was forged. <laughs> I can't believe a human could keep up with me! Witnessing the dynamic powers of the yokai will certainly help hone my swordsmanship. You're a swordsman? Oh, yes. I'm currently traveling the world in search of formidable opponents. Then let's make a deal. We meet for a duel every ten years. What do you say? Hmm. I look forward to it. 
Ikawa Flower Festival is meant to bring happiness to all who attend, and Akitsu Hazara is a symbol of friendship. That's why, when we decided to hold the festival here, setting up Akitsu Hazara was our first priority. Unfortunately, the real Akitsu Hazara has been lost to time. What we created is a version of the game we heard about from a wandering merchant, so we changed the name to Akitsu Yugen. You had someone that got trapped. Yeah, but that wasn't us. We have no idea what could have gone wrong. We closed Akitsu Yugen a while ago and carefully checked it for any issues. But we didn't find anything wrong with it. Maybe it was just some strange mishap caused by our unstable yokai power at the time. Hmm. They don't look like they're lying. And believe me, I know a liar when I see one. Maybe it really was just an accident. After that incident, people stopped coming to the attraction. Later, a human man with blue hair appeared and walked around the area. He had a piercing gaze. I almost felt like he could see us. But then he turned and quickly left without saying anything. It wasn't long before large numbers of people began coming to the Jinju Forest. And visitors were playing Akitsu Yugen again. It was wonderful. A human man with blue hair? Yeah. Now that you mention it, the fan that Ayato chose is the same kind that's used at a festival. Do you think that he knew about the yokai when he decided to hold the test of courage here? Oh, so my bro Ayato is here for the test of courage too? Or maybe he's here to catch Oni Kabuto! Ha! Had I known that, I would have brought the one I caught a few days ago to battle him! Wow! Ito's still clueless about who Ayato really is! Well, anyway, seems like all the strange things we saw earlier were caused by these little yokai, not ghosts! The Pokemon? <sighs> what a relief! <laughs> and now that you we know those what's little purple beetles you can catch, so I have no idea what they're talking about. about. I'm yeah, guessing that might be part of humans, the quest right? that I was supposed I totally to, like, that. recommended to do before After this. After all, we yokai are becoming a rare breed these days. If all we do is isolate, we'll only feel more lonely. So why don't you let this Oni do you a favor, hmm? See, I'm a yokai too, right? And I'm already a natural in human society. I bet there's not a single person in Inazuma who hasn't heard of Arataki, the one and only Ito. <laughs> Come on, let's go. I'll show you around. Now that Paimon doesn't feel so scared anymore, maybe we can walk around the area. The yokai said they wanted to host a festival, but Paimon was too busy having the bejeevers scared out of her to pay any attention until now. Come to think of it, Paimon remembers seeing some festival-related items on the beach. Let's head over there and take a look. Maybe we can help out. Back to the beach. All right, guys, I'm going to take a break, though. Um, I'm try to be back this afternoon no promises but i'm gonna try really hard so thank you so much for hanging out i will be back if not this afternoon then tomorrow see you later everybody